Yo, what is going on, guys? In today's video of Hogwarts Legacy, we're going to go through the combat of the game. This means we're going to go through combat abilities and combos. We're also going to go through and how to kill different magical beasts within the game because each one has a certain weakness, but we can exploit and get rid of them quickly. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. It helps the channel a bunch. Guys, have an amazing day. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so the first two combos I'm going to teach you guys, which is pretty much the easiest to do, but actually does a lot of damage and people don't realize, is Olivia So and then Descendo together. And then the other one that we're going to teach as well here is Glacius, and then we're going to put Defendo after it. Two simple spell casts, but they work really well. I'll show you guys on these walls. Yeah, look, pretty much one shots them. Now this one and Defendo. So it's easy as that, guys. Two spell moves, which does a lot of damage. And then you can just follow up with a basic attack or two, and then you're done. Pretty much you can spend one after each other as well. You don't have to pretty much wait. Alrighty, so now we're going to go through advanced combat tips. Pretty much the biggest tip I can give anyone is per spell, you want to do a basic spell in between. Just one. You can do maybe two in some instances, but you mainly want to just do one so you can follow up with the next spell straight away. Especially with something like if you're doing, if you're doing Glacius, if you're doing Glacius, you don't really want to do a base spell. You just want to do Defendo. But then after you can follow up. But for example, if you're going to do Levioso, you can hit once and then Defendo and put him down. And that will still cause that combo to still work. But for example, if you Accio and pull him in, and then you do Incendio, because it's such a close combat spell, if you do too many basic spells, you're gonna you're gonna be out of range for that spell. So I'll show you with this wolf what I mean by that. Okay, so you pull him in. You hit once, Incendio. It will still get to that range, but see if I hit one more basic spell, it would have been out of range, and then it wouldn't have worked. All right, guys. So let's just go to a few, a few more instances of me using uh, basic spells in between spells, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So one basic spell, bring him down. Basic spell. See, and now that he's floating in the air, you can just follow up more. Same with this guy. Bring him up. Basic spell. Put him down. See how you can do two there? And he's still floating in the air. Now, basic spell. Pull him in. Basic spell. Sandio. So that way, guys, you guys can do more damage per time in between your spells instead of just spamming the spells, how a lot of people do. So remember, spell, basic attack, spell, basic attack, spell, basic attack, and you do a lot more damage. And then sometimes when you guys get used to it, you guys can use two spells instead of one. All right, guys, so the next combo I'm going to show you guys, which is probably my favorite one right now, is doing the Leviosa with the, the Sendo and then following it up with the Accio and then pushing them away and doing heaps of damage with their Sendio. And if you upgrade the Sendio, you can do an AoE as well. And if you upgrade the Sendio, you can pull more than just one person at a time, which can make both the spells really good. So I can show you guys now on these guys. The Levio, the Sendo, bring him down. I pull him in. Incendio. See how I got both of them just then? Easy. Easy as that. So sometimes you're going to pull in more than just one enemy. Sometimes you won't do that, but you're still going to do heaps of damage. And like I said before, guys, you guys can go to your talent points. You go to spells and then you can grab the upgrade for Accio, which can pull more people in. Then you can upgrade this as well, which is going to unleash a flame around you, which is going to do AoE damage and burn a lot more people with one spell. All right, guys, so the next kind of, let's say, advanced combo I'm going to show you guys is the Glacio with the Defendo. Then we're going to push him away and then Confringo. Pretty good spell. And you can, as always, guys, you guys can add uh, any basic attacks in the middle of them to do more damage. So let's show you guys right here. So push him away. And you pretty much, wow, you pretty much kill him before that even happens. So with this guy here, we can push him away. Confringo him. Glacius, and then cut him, and he's dead. So the combo together is perfect, plus it has all the spells that you need for any type of shield as well, guys. Show you guys again. Defendo. Push him away. Confringo. And they're all dead. Easy as that. So yeah, that's the other combo, guys, that I really enjoy. And then this one as well as before. This is probably my more favorite one to use right now. 
Okay, guys, so this next combo is probably the most overpowered combo you're going to be using in the game. More powerful than Avocadabra. Pretty much what you guys are going to be using, guys, is the Crucio Curse. You're going to Crucio everyone. And then because you got, you've got Crucio Master in the talent points, I'll show you guys in a second where to do that as well. Pretty much, it's going to send a projection. As soon as you basic attack the same guy you've Crucioed, it's going to send projections out. Everyone's going to be cursed. Then from there, you're going to use a Transfiguration spell. You're going to turn them into a barrel, but because you've upgraded into a Master in the talent points, now it turns to an explosive barrel. And then all you do is you go and pick it up, you swirl around, and pretty much everyone's dead. And I'll show you guys quickly right now in the talent points where to get it all. So in spells, guys, it's this one right here, right at the end. So you've got to be level 22 to get it. All right, guys, and in the dark arts section, it's the Crucio Master that you need. As you can see, it will send projections out as soon as you basically attack the person that you just did the Crucio to. And then this one here as well, which is going to deal damage to a cursed target, inflicts damage to all cursed targets. So basically attacking the target will hit every other target or doing a spell on that target do a spell on every each one all right guys i'll show you guys how to do it and how overpowered it is against these uh goblins down here good day boys how we doing all right so we've crucified that one and see how see how they're all getting cursed all right that guy there's not cursed so we'll do this we'll get him we'll try to curse all of them so i can show you guys exactly how to do it We'll get him as well. Shoot a few more out. Turn him into a barrel. Pick it up. And they're all dead. It's as easy as that. It's pretty cheesy. But um, yeah, it works every time. You can do it with Avocado as well. But obviously, you don't have it until later on in the game. So this way is a good way of doing it. And it's probably the most overpowered one as well. Because as you can see, the Transfiguration spell is right back already. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoy that one. All right, a little bonus, guys. I'm going to show you guys the exact same uh, combo with what we did with the Transfig and the Crucio by using Avada Kadabra, which is just going to make it more fancy, pretty much. All right, so same thing, guys. You're going to crucify one of them. And then use the big boy spell. And that will do the trick as well. It's just way more epic of a thing to do. But as you can see, this Vada Kadabra spell cooldown is ages. So using the Transfiguration one is a lot more overpowered because you can just continuously do it nonstop all the time in case there's like a few enemies that come out of nowhere pretty much. All right, next, guys, we're going to get into using the Flipendo spell against a troll. There's a certain point where this troll will charge, then he'll use his club and he will slap it down. When he does that, that's when you use Flipendo. And I'm going to go and show you guys right now how it works. Flipendo, see that? And it hits him in the head. And then you can just do whatever you need to do. Defendo. And you can just pretty much just repeat that on nonstop. So he'll probably do the... Pop thing here. Flipendo. And then he's pretty much just stunned for so long. And then you can do whatever you need. Alright, guys. We're going to show you one more time how it goes. Protego. Flipendo. And then that just stuns him for too long. And then that's it. Easiest way, best way to kill a troll. Every time. Also, guys, if you like to save this location where I am right now. There is a troll spawns here every time you come here. So once you know save the game, go out, go somewhere else, come back, it usually spawns there, but you can just get free uh, troll bogeys every time. All right, guys, so to kill a Dugbog, what you're going to do is they're going to do a certain attack move, which brings their tongue up and then they whip it at you. So pretty much when they're bringing the tongue up, you're going to do Leviosa and then you're going to do Defendo. And that's going to pretty much one shot them. And I'll show you guys right now how it goes. Alright. Up and then defendo. And it's literally one shot every time instead of doing heaps of ram spells. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to kill spiders very, very easily. And all you need is spell right here, which is Levios O. So pretty much what you're gonna do is when the spider starts barreling on the ground, you're gonna use that and it's gonna split him in half and pretty much one shot him. So I'll show you guys right here. There we go. Levios O. Boom. One shot, a spider, every time. All right, guys, to kill the Inferius, they take a lot of damage from any type of fire damage spell. So what you do is you combo these four spells together, and I'll show you guys right now how it works against them. So with this one, what you can do is you can pull him in. Incendio. Incendio. You can push him back. 
and you can do configure as well if there's gonna take like more damage but obviously they're pretty much dead for the time to use that so i'll show you guys again yeah but pretty much that one combo there alone is gonna one shot all of them every time and then as you can see you can collect heaps of these stench of the dead uh things that you need for like potions and stuff and if you guys want to know where this area is if you guys haven't seen some of my other videos the location is right here Next is those poachers or dark wizards that turn into wolves. Instead of killing the wolf form and then the human form, use transfiguration spell to turn them right back into a human so you don't have to verse them twice. Alrighty guys, so the next thing you guys want to do is once you guys get to level 22, you want to make sure you have two talent points saved so you can go to the core and get both of these talents, which is the Protego Mastery, which every time you perfectly hit Protego, it's going to do it like, like what it's showing right here. A big shield blast, which is going to knock a lot more enemies back. And the other one is if you hold down Protego, it's going to do Stupefy, but now it's Stupefy is going to not only stun them, but also do direct damage on them. So the more damage you're doing to an enemy, obviously, the better better outcome you're going to get and the quicker you're going to kill whatever enemy you're versing. Also, the other one what I reckon to get as well is Stupefy Mastery, which is when you do Stupefy, it's going to stun them for a longer period of time. So you can either go to the next person or unleash all your spells on that person while he's down for a, long, a lot longer. Okay, guys, on to the next combat tip. This is pretty overpowered. I can't believe that it actually is overpowered. But guys, the Chinese chomping cabbage is actually really, really strong. I'm not going to put any skill points into it because you only get 35 for the talent points. So, but if you do like to use plants, you can and you'll see that this is very, very overpowered. And what you guys can do as well is in your talent tree, if you go to the room of requirement, if you click on this one right here and if you like and you can get that one, when you throw down one, it will throw down two. So then you can spam it fuel them and honestly it's very overpowered give it a shot if you like using plants and yeah you'll see how overpowered it is all right guys so this isn't really a combat actual tip but it is something that can be involved with combat which is if you go to the room of your requirement and then as you can see here, these potions are ready, which is the invisibility one and the maxima one. And I'm getting them actually both for free. And as you see, they're going to do a random potion again. So every time you come to your room requirement, you can just come through here, pick up two potions of random, and then you can have plenty of potions to pick out of to fight with. These are called the hopping pots, and you can get them at the Hogsmeade vendor, which is called Pippin's Potions. I think it's going to cost about $3,000 or 3,000 gallons. So yes, it is kind of expensive, but once you get it, like I said, guys, you guys can come through here every time collect some potions for free and you pretty much get that non-stop just going forever you can't put a third one i just haven't done that yet 